Today I'm going to make some pickles out of cucumbers and this is what I'm going to slice them up with. This is what some of the pickles look like. Some of them are like a light green and some are darker color. Some are bigger but I'm just going to make slices out of them and not spears. Uh, that way they fit in the jar a little better and I've already added the uh, apple cider vinegar to this. I put two cups in there and I put 10 cups of water and then I'm boiling the, the lids in this pan here and then I got some pickling salt here that I'm going to put in there they say put like a cup and a quarter and then a little alum they said that alum makes the pickle stay a little more crisp uh, when they're in the jar and here's the apple cider vinegar and then I got some other things here to put in there. I got uh, mixed pickling spices, then a uh, quick pickling mix. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that in the in the jar, and then I have some dill weed. So I'm going to that's what it looks like a little bit. So I'll put a little dill weed in each one of the jars after I put the pickles in them. Uh, but I got to do a bit of slicing and. I gotta have that boil. I'm gonna I'm gonna add a little bit of the pickling salt. Let's see, a cup and a, and a quarter. Pickling salt is right here, and here's the cup. So. Salt needs to be broke up a little bit. There we go. Yeah, some uh, people use garlic and stuff in theirs. Uh, they use the real garlic, you know, and I'll, I'll do it a lazy way and like probably put a little garlic and spices in it. If I want it to taste like garlic. But I'm telling you what, that pickling mix over there, that stuff smells like garlic. So I don't think I need to add any garlic to it. It's pretty strong stuff. Okay, there's one cup. And I'll stir it up a little bit as it goes on. Put me another quarter of a cup in here to make sure no little okay. All right. So I got the pickling stuff in there. You say add like a quarter of a teaspoon of the alum. Let's see if that needs to be broke down a little bit too. It's all kind of like salt a little bit. So I'll just add a little bit of that. Hopefully it got it. I accidentally pushed a button on there. Hopefully it's still recording. Yep, it is. Okay. And they say cut the ends of them off. So I'll just use a little slicer and cut the ends off. So I didn't waste very much of it because usually they cut a big old hunk off the end, but I'm going to keep the little pickles and stuff too. So it's just keep going back and forth. I use this for my tomato slicer when I'm making fried green tomatoes. It smells like cucumbers, that's for sure. 
Oh, and there's another added, uh, another part here. There's this little tool here. You actually are supposed to put the tomato or cucumber on that so that you don't cut your hand when you get down so far. So I can actually push it on these little nails and then it holds the cucumber. And then as you go down, the little pump thing here pushes down and pushes the cucumber off as it goes. So there's like a little thing that helps grip it. So that's what I'm gonna do. So show how to use that. Gotta get some of these pickles out the way. color one see if those are any good but like I said cut the ends off first yeah the reason uh, part of these pickles are lighter colored is because they didn't get as much sun as the other one so I kind of learned my lesson on that like where to uh, where to place the the pick the cucumber plants? So I had to learn they're not going to get very green if they don't have much sun coming on. Okay, let me use that little thing here. Put this in here on the end so I don't cut my hand. All right, let me believe that's enough. This is kind of what they look like, and if you wanted to get some cucumber seeds and plant them for next year, you can always dig some of these out and uh, use them in the in the garden for next year. Okay, so then you get a jar and you just place them in there. And a lot of people will done put the spices in there first, but in my opinion, I think it's smarter to put the spices in afterwards that way when you pour the brine in it, uh, it will uh, blow some of the spices all through the pickles instead of just down at the bottom of the jar. But I guess you could always shake it, but you know, the, the brine is is hot and then once you put it in there you need to let the uh, let the lid pop down on it and then you really don't want to be shaking around. You want to put it in the refrigerator within like a half hour or before a half hour goes by. Uh, so that it can stay preserved and not go bad on you. Okay, I'm still gonna have to wait a while for the uh, for the brine to heat up, and then I'll I'll put go ahead and put the spices in there now. Get this little cutter out of the way. I'm mixing the green ones and the the lighter colored green ones up a little bit. They say you want to pour it up to and leave it a little bit lower than the lid. Uh, give it a little bit of space in there so that it's not all on the lid. Okay, so I'm going to take these little spices and just put a little tiny bit of it. Put a little pinch in each one. I think there's like peppercorns in here and stuff. A little bit of that. And then I got the dill. So I've seen them put a lot of dill in there. So I'm just going to put a little bit in there. You can actually shake Okay, so I'm just going to shake a little bit in there to give it a little dill taste. People usually put their fresh dill, so I'm doing it all the lazy way. I'm just buying the stuff and shaking it in there. And then I'm going to put a little bit of this pickling mix in there. 
and it really does smell like garlic. So I'll put a bit, little bit of this in there. I think I need to dig around in that one too. Yeah, they get a little solid when they're sitting around. I bought these at the beginning of summer. All right, that should do it. come back and do the video when I start pouring the brine after the brine gets all mixed up all right back to the uh, pickling so I got the brine all boiled up and then you need this to pour it in there uh, they have these little uh, funnels that you can that has a wider bottom on it, but this one I just kind of had to put off to the side. So it's going to be a little hard for me to do it and hold this at the same time. Plus, all right. So then you take a little ladle and you pour it in here little by little till you fill it up to almost to the top. Stir it up a little bit. Get some more brine. that's enough I'm not sure. maybe a little bit more I might uh, there's a lid I'm kind of scared to use my saw I'm oh, making a fucking bit the lid on it then you go get the the ring then you tighten it down yep and it's very hot all right so then you wait for the, the lid to pop and whether it does or it doesn't, that's what the guy told me that on the video I was watching. He says you put it in the refrigerator and then you let it set for two months. He said eight weeks, but I would like to say two months. So two months and then it's ready to eat then. So it'll be in November by the time this stuff is ready. So there we go. Apple cider vinegar. That's some kind of pickling mix and then then some pickling spices and then some dill and the alarm and here's the pickles I'm, I, I've already put them all in there and put all the spices on the top you can see I'm gonna pour it in as I go got a couple more over here to go there's the brine and then there's the lids that I boiled to uh, keep the lids clean and that's the end of the cucumber making video made it simple and easy and lazy so there we go thanks for watching my videos till the next one